100 million silver for a single tier 10. Is this a disaster or a blessing? In this video, we'll be going over this year's Cyber Monday sale, how I feel Wargaming can improve the Cyber Monday sales, as well as what I think about the 100 million silver price tag. Six days before Cyber Monday, Wargaming announced that for the first time in the history of Watt console, players will be able to purchase tier 9, tier 10, as well as era 2 premiums for silver. However, the list of tanks that will be available was not released, as well as the prize was not available either. Majority of the players were very excited about this news as they will be able to purchase premium tanks for the excessive silver they have accumulated over time. However, the excitement turned into frustration when the prizes were finally revealed on Cyber Monday as it was much much higher than anyone anticipated. As it was 100 million for a tier 10 tank, 75 million for tier 9 and 50 million for era 2. The available tanks were 121B and Object 279E for tier 10. Kundepender and Double Tap for tier 9 and FV4211 and Chieftain 120 for era 2. Since this is the first time this sale was happening, I strongly feel that Wargaming should have made the announcement a month or two in advance as well as provided some estimated values for different tiers so that players have enough time to prepare as well as realistic expectation in regards to what to expect. This will not be a problem for next year as we know when and what to expect. However, we can also make another adjustment to the sale, which is allowing the option to purchase these tanks for free XP as well. So there are three options available. You can either get them for silver, for gold, or for free free XP. That being said, I like the event as the tanks were still available for a decent 50% discount, which is more than the usual 30%, and were available for silver for those who can afford it. As far as the 100 million silver price tag is concerned for tier 10s, I think it's a fair value, mainly because this wasn't the only option available if you wanted to purchase those tanks, you could still get those tanks for gold at a 50% discount. And silver is an in-game currency and anyone can farm it if they decide to using so many premiums that are essentially given away for, for free either in season pass or as earn ops by war gaming. So the price can stay the same for next year and same applies to the 75 million price tag for tier 9. As far as era 2 premiums are concerned, it's not even an issue because those tanks have silver bonus and you just recover the 50 million just by playing those tanks. But the tanks that are available to purchase for silver should not be a part of an earn op for at least 5 or so years, otherwise the player would feel cheated as well as this event would lose value. The tank selection is fairly decent as none of the available tanks are overpowered or broken. However, there is room for improvement. I feel instead of double tap, we could have some other tier nines like Chieftain P or AMX Low Rain, as double tap is a pretty bad tank. As well as we could have another tank instead of FE4211 as that tank was recently available as an earn op. Four of the other tanks were never part of an earn op and Object 279E were available as a season reward but that was more than four years ago, so that is acceptable as well. However, I hope they continue the trend where the tanks are not overpowered, as well as they were also not part of earn ops, or at least majority of the tanks were not part of earn ops. Another reason I really liked this event was it tried to add value to the silver. Pre 6.0, silver was a very valuable in-game resource, but it's no longer the case. Pre 6.0, we had to work for silver. We had to play tier 8s to earn silver so that we can play tier 10s. There were less earn ops, which means less chance of earning a duplicate tank for silver compensation. There was no post season silver bonus, as well as custom game cost silver. Fast forward to 2024, you can earn 20 to 50 million silver a month depending on how much you play without even trying due to the earn ops as well as post season silver bonus. And one of the major reason is Cold War as you can earn insane amount of silver, especially while playing era three. This doesn't even include the special events like XP with interest or silver with interest, where you could make up to 15 million over a weekend easily if you try. This event provides an outlet for that excessive silver that is useless outside of the game as well as encourages players to play more premium tanks so they can earn tanks for silver 
when this event does come back. I myself had over 800 million silver that was just sitting in my account and I had no use for it and it would have been kept accumulating. With this event I spent 600 million, 125 million for myself, 275 million for Twitch giveaways and 200 million for friends. And it provided a nice opportunity for me to buy tanks that I otherwise would not have bought or waited longer when they're available as earn up as well as share that excessive silver with friends as well as community. As I said before, I really like this event and the gifting option was cherry on top. And also because the event didn't take away anything from anyone, the tanks were still available for gold for a discounted value. And this provided an additional option for those who want it. There are a lot of other issues in the game. For example, the machine guns that are being added which can delete a tank before you can react. Personally, I also feel trade-in is a useless event in most of the cases. But this event is not. Previously, we have seen Wargaming add events like XP with interest, where players have the option to use those XP boosters they collected with season or different ops for silver. Similarly, this event provides an outlet to those that have excessive amount of silver without taking anything away from other users as they still have the option to buy using gold. So that's it for this video. Do let me know in comment if you agree or disagree with my opinion as well as your recommendation for the event. And I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.